Hello guys and welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are doing that plum pectin um, and then sugar um, sugar plum fairy spice butter. So I do a quart of water for every pound of fruit. So I've got eight quarts of water since I've got eight pounds of fruit and I'm going to add a quarter cup of lemon juice because it helps prevent your fruit from turning brown. And then all I'm gonna do with all eight pounds, and I always start on the bottom, right, plum top up here, and the bottom. And then I gently cut down till you get to that pit. Back, back, and it twists just like that. And you see that your seed well then should just pop out you might have to do a little bit of cutting depending upon how ripe your fruit is ah, I'm gonna have to cut these pits out a little differently because that's in there tight you just basically go around cut out the pit put the plum in the water get it all cut up that's all I'm gonna do we'll be back when all eight pounds are cut up and into the water there you go you guys we've got all eight pounds sliced pit removed and into the eight quarts of water now I know this looks like a lot more than eight quarts because this is a 16 quart Cuisinart but gotta take into mind all those plums take up room and push the water up so now what we do is we turn it on high we put the lid on it and we boil it for about an hour to an hour and a half until the plums just fall and crumble apart when you push on them with a potato masher so I'll bring you back for all of that all right guys you see that it's up to a really good boil and if I don't get this lid off see that pink beautiful foam it's gonna boil over all right now that it's up to a full hard rolling boil take the lid off and we let it keep boiling for now that it's up we start the timer and we start boiling for an hour to an hour and a half until it just mushes apart but as you can see, it's already mushing apart and the lid had, the foam had all come up. It's been boiling already for nearly 45 minutes. And taking off the lid um, gives it a chance to breathe. It'll be about 45 minutes before it gets to that foaming up to your lid point. But we just let it keep going. For an hour and a half, well, for me it's 45 minutes, but for you, as soon as it gets up to a boil, you start keeping track of it. You check it at an hour, and then you check it at an hour and 15, and then you check it at an hour and a half. Um, our goal is to have it completely turn to mush whenever you take a, yeah, see that's not, there's still form to that. We're going to take a potato masher and mash it really good. As you can see, the color is really starting to come through beautifully. So, I'm just going to keep letting it go. Keep letting it boil. Now, remember, um, we started with eight quarts. One quart per pound. But it will boil down a good quart and a half to even possibly two quarts of water during the boiling process that is okay and that is what we want we want we're making pectin out of this you can make plum juice um but we're making pectin so the more water that gets boiled out the better all right guys we're going to keep letting it go and i'll be back there we have it you guys look at that beautiful dark rich red color and as you can see when I try to stir it 
the plums have turned into plum mush. Yes, there is skin in there. The skin and all of this mush will be sent through my ninja to make sure that all the skin gets good and cut up and broken down. So all I'm going to do is turn this off. Let it sit for just a couple of minutes, not long, just a couple of minutes, and then we're going to send it through a jelly strainer and save the juice and make pectin. We'll be back, you guys. Now all I'm going to do is take and run it through my jelly strainer. All that plum mush out and strain it now you don't have to do eight pounds you can do four pounds or even two pounds you just don't get as much pectin you know the less plums you have the less pectin you get um So it's one quart of water per pound of plums. Alright guys, I'm going to keep straining this and we'll be back when we're all done. Now I can tell you right now, eight pounds will not, it'll come close. But it won't fill up my jelly bag here. I've done this quite a few times. Most of the time all I do is can that juice right there. I'll strain the water. Or I mean strain the plums from the uh, quote unquote water. And then I'll put all of it back, all the liquid back into the pot and add two cups of sugar and then I'll process it in the um, pressure canner for 75 minutes for pints or 75 minutes for quarts 50 minutes for pints 60 minutes for pints I'll have to look that up and make sure that you get the right times if you're making juice um, but somebody wanted me to show them how I make the pectin all the way down to pectin form. When I make my plum juice into juice, um, I do that because then I use the plum juice for either pectin when I run out of my apple pectin come the middle of winter. I'll open up several jars of the plum juice and put it in a crock pot the sugar won't cause any issues and I will cook it down in a crock pot for 12 hours and then can the the what's left at the bottom for my pectin all right guys I'm going to keep doing this, and we'll be back. Hello, hello, guys, and welcome back to my kitchen again for, like, the fifth time today. Um, I had two cups of that leftover plum juice, so I took the two cups of plum juice, the quarter cup of leftover cherries I had, and four cups of organic blueberries. Now I'm going to add... It was actually three and a half cups of organic blueberries and a quarter cup of cherries. I'm going to add one cup of sugar. And then in here, I have two cups of sugar. And we're going to add... Oh. Hold on, guys. Okay. In the sugar, the other two cups of sugar, I have a teaspoon of my applewood salt, applewood smoked sea salt. 
Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. And then I'm going to mix it all up. Because you want to make sure that you mix the cinnamon into the sugar. Like I said before, otherwise it'll clump and it won't work. So, two cups of the pumpkin spice sugar with the applewood smoked sea salt. So all total we have three cups of sugar. Now again, if you want more sweetness, you can add up to six cups of sugar. That is all on you, not on me. Now that we got it all mixed up beautifully, we're going to put it on our burner. We're going to turn it on high. And we're going to start the boiling process. All right, guys. We'll be back. All right, guys. There it is. We've got the cherries, the blueberries, the plum juice, the sugar, and oh, guess what? I almost forgot, you guys. Yeah, this would have been really, really important and a big deal. Quarter to a third cup of lemon juice. Then we turn it on medium high. I keep bumping you guys because I'm trying to work around you. My camera's right in front of my stove. All right, guys. We're going to start the boiling process and let it cook down. We'll be back. All right, guys, there it is. This one came up to a boil real fast. It took only 20 minutes for it to come up to this nice boil. And all we're going to do is just let it boil. We'll be back, guys. This has been boiling for 45 minutes. It came up to a boil faster than I've... Well, I've seen a couple other kinds come up to boils really fast, but this came up to a really fast boil. But now that it's boiling, it's just cooking down at regular speed. <clears throat> As you can see, it's darker in color. A lot more darker in color. The boiled bubbles that are coming out are... Uh, darker and thicker if you want at this point you could stop boiling it and you'd have a really nice thin pancake syrup or you could boil it for just a few more minutes and have a slightly thicker pancake syrup but I'm making a jam so we're gonna keep going all right guys We'll be back. And here we go, you guys. I turned my timer on when I turned my um, burner on. And I've been going in for an hour and 15 minutes. My temperature is up to 125, which is softball, or 235. And as you can tell, maybe, it's so hard to show sheeting on a camera, you guys. It really is. I try. But you see how thick those drips are? And you see how the jam is nice and boiled up? I suggest... That you get a candy thermometer until you get used to being able to tell when something's done. And even then, whenever I make a type of jam or jelly for the first time ever, I always use a thermometer. Alright guys, we are going to turn it off. 
let it cool down and then we'll put it in our jars there we have it you guys it's been cooling for five minutes another great trick to tell whether or not your jam or jelly is done is to tilt it and see if it wrinkles and see how thick it is if it's not done yet you turn it on and keep boiling but watch this guys look how thick that is and you see the wrinkling it's got going on we know it's ready so we're going to put it into our jars and put our lids on it here we go you guys oh that looks so good it smells amazing it smells like cinnamon blueberry pie and me and my daughter came up with a name for this we are going to call this one very berry sugar plum spice because it's got lots of blueberries cherries and plum Ooh, I've got more here than I thought. I am going to have to <clears throat> wash, clean, and sterilize another jar, you guys. So, we will be back. Guys, I have two. There we have it, you guys. I have two 12-ounce jars of the Very Berry Sugar Plum Fairy and two 8-ounce jars and then a partial jar this one will get a lid put on it and it'll get stuck right in the fridge and these ones will get all their rims cleaned off and then lids and rings put onto them we'll be back you guys have it four jars lit the rims were all wiped and cleaned off um clean fresh um lids were put on i dipped the lids in apple cider vinegar water the lids are cleaned off with a cheesecloth or one of my special cloths dipped into apple cider vinegar water and then i put the lids on and put the rings on and then we're going to process this for 25 minutes all right guys we'll be back and there we have it you guys we have those four jars of very berry sugar plum fairy spice jam and we're just gonna put these in the water bath counter bring them up to a boil and process them for 25 minutes we'll be back and there we have it that is processing now we're gonna let it process <clears throat> and we're gonna let it process we're gonna let it stay at this rolling boil you want to make sure it's a rolling boil so it's up to temperature and you're preventing any kind of bacterial growth and you're sterilizing the food and getting the food up to the proper temp now we're just gonna let it sit and process for 25 minutes we'll be back and there it is you guys all done we're just gonna turn it off take off the lid let it cool for five minutes and then we'll be back and here we go you guys let's pull out our very berry sugar plum fairy spice jam We process that for 25 minutes and you want to make sure that when you pull it out you pull it straight out you try not to tip it that way water or not water product doesn't get up and underneath of the lids or the rings now we're gonna let these cool and sit, pop and seal and cool down and we'll be back you guys four jars of the very berry sugar plum fairy spice jam and as you can see it's nice and thick 
beautifully thick. All four of them have sealed and they're ready to go. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and thanks for coming along and we'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay positive. Bye.